Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we learn about board plot. Now, before we go on to the actual um, board plot, uh, let's learn about the decibel systems or decibel scales, dB in short. Uh, bell is used to measure ratio of two levels of power. So, if you have an output power and input power, the ratio of the two powers or the power gain is represented or can be represented in uh, logarithmic form and that is called bell. So, number of bells is actually log of the ratio of these two powers, output power over input power. But this is a large quantity, so we go one small, uh, one scale down and we call decibel. So, decibel dB is 10 times log 10 power of the 2 output power over input power and this is very commonly used decibels or dB. Now, if the two powers are same, so the ratio will become 1 and the uh, log of 1 will be 0. So, it we this will become 0 dB. So, actually this is the re reference point uh, from where we start uh, measuring and let us say if the power is 2 times, the output power is 2 times the input power, then the gain will be 10 log 2 and which is equal to 3 dB. And if the power output power is half of the input power, then uh, 10 log 0 0.5 and this will be negative 3 dB. So, if you have a calculator, you just uh, use the calculator to calculate and you will see that the answer is minus 3 in this case and uh, plus 3 in the other case. Now, we uh, discussed in terms of power, but the same uh, can also be represented in terms of voltage. So, it is 10 log P2 over P1 and P2 can be written in this case uh, by V2 square over R2 and the input power can be written as V1 square over R1. And if we assume that R2 and R1 are equal, then the ratio will become 10 log 10 V2 square over v1 square or v2 over v1 whole square and so for log the square terms will uh, be multiplied so this will become 20 log 10 v2 over v1 and this is most commonly used that uh, in case of a voltage we write 20 log or same in case of a current also it is 20 log of the two currents, output current divided by input current. So, uh, we have to keep in mind that when we are uh, taking ratio of power, then we multiply by 10 to get the uh, decibel, but when we are comparing voltages or currents, then we multiply by 20 to get the decibel values. Uh, another term is uh, used as dBm. Uh, dBm is actually uh, when you have just one um, power and you normalize it or compare it with one milliwatt, uh, then the result or the answer you get is represented as dBm, meaning that you are comparing with one milliwatt. The formula is for power like 10 log P2 over one milliwatt. And in this case also, if P2 is 1 milliwatt, then this will be uh, 1 and log 10 will be, uh, log 10, 1 will be 0. So, for 1 milliwatt P2, uh, it will be 0 dBm. So, whenever it is uh, written uh, as dBm, we should understand that we are comparing with 1 milliwatt. And similarly for um, other values of the P2. So, let us learn about uh, board plot. A board plot is a graph of the logarithm of the transfer function. 
And we saw in the previous video that uh, obtaining a frequency response mathematically is not an easy task. And because of this, it has become now a standard practice to plot the transfer function on a pair of semi-logarithm plots. So semi-log graph is, looks like that, that one of the axes, that is the horizontal axis, is in logarithmic scale, whereas the vertical axis is in linear scale. So uh, we'll use this uh, for plotting board plot. We'll plot frequency on the horizontal axis as it has been shown here. So each, each uh, large division is 10 times the previous one. So if it is minus uh, point 0.1, then it is 10 times point 0.1 is 1, then 10 times that is 10, and 10 times 10 is 100. But the vertical scale is in dB and it is in linear scale. So it is like it has been shown here, it's 20 log k, k may be any value. So uh, uh, the dB scale is the vertical scale. And we use uh, this plot to plot two elements uh, of the uh, transfer function. Number one is the magnitude and the second is the phase. So phase in degrees is, uh, is also plotted uh, against the logarithmic scale, the logarithmic uh, frequency. Uh, just to give you some idea, if the ratio uh, of the gain is 0 0.001, then uh, it will be actually 10 raised to the power minus 3 and multiply by 20, so it will be minus 60 dV. If it is 0 0.01, then it is 10 raised to the power minus 2, so 20 log and minus 2 multiplied, it will make it minus 40. So uh, this, is, I, I told you, is the reference when the two ratios are 1, we take that point as 0. And as you go higher, if the ratio increases ten, uh, 2 times, 10 times, 20 times, then we get a positive value of dV. But if the ratio decreases, then we get the negative values of dV. Uh, before we do in the actual plot, uh, we will come across the term called pole and zero. Uh, you will uh, learn much more about this in uh, your control uh, system, but we will just give you an idea what is uh, meant by pole and zero. Now, any transfer function like this can be represented as the factors of the numerator and factors in the denominator and maybe there are some constants. So uh, transfer function can be written as numerator over denominator and factor of those. Now if any of the factors in the numerator is made equal to zero, the whole transfer function will become zero and that is why the uh, uh, when we, we put numerator terms equals to 0, uh, this is represented as the roots Z1 are called the zero roots. These roots are called the zero roots because putting this zero, any one of them zero, will make the whole transfer function as zero. Whereas if you put the denominator factors equal to zero, so you know anything divided by zero will make it infinity. And that is why these roots are called pole. So uh, uh, the di's or the pi's that make uh, the denominator zero, they are called the uh, poles. Normally, in the uh, graphical form, we plot it like this. So, if, if, if you have a, mm, um, a plot of the transfer function, the zeros are represented by a small circle and poles are represented by a cross. So, this actually, um, as I told you, we will learn much about it in control systems. It represents how the circuit behaves, what is the stability criteria of the circuit, etc. But for the time being, we should only just remember that if the transfer function becomes zero, 
the roots are called zero roots and if the transfer function becomes infinite the roots are called the pole roots and a 3d view could be something like this so zeros these are zeros and these are the points of poles so I have a pole here and a pole here so this is just to give an idea what is pole and zero Now, uh, a transfer function uh, may include several types. It may um, have a gain, constant gain, k, like uh, shown here, 50 is a constant gain. It may also have a 0 at the origin, so j omega, uh, as we discussed, that the term on the numerator are the 0 um, factors. So if j omega is made 0, that means there will be 0 at the origin. And uh, so this is one possibility that the transfer function will con contain j omega at the numerator. Another possibility is that we can have a j omega at the denominator and this when we make 0, it will um, give a pole function. So that is why it is pole at the origin, so we will represent it by cross at the origin. <laughs> it can also have simple 0, so like this, it is 1 plus j omega over j or j omega plus some value, so this is simple 0 and it could have a simple pole, so this is a simple pole, j omega plus 5 and it could also have the quadratic 0 and quadratic pole, so quadratic equation in the numerator and a quadratic in the denominator. We will also come across a term which is called 20 dB per decade. Uh, we should understand the meaning of this. So if this is our reference point, you know the frequency, logarithmic frequency in the horizontal axis and dB is in the vertical axis, 0 dB is our reference point and the 20 dB per decade or minus 20 dB per decade actually in this case means that the slope is going down, number 1 minus sign, that means the slope is going down and 20 dB per decade means that for one decade like from 1 to 10, this is 1 decade, point zero 0.01 to 1 is 1 decade. So, for in this case, for, for uh, 1 to 10, 1 decade, the slope will be 20 degrees down. So, if you look here from 0, it is coming down to minus 20 degree. So, this means that it is minus 20 dB per decade. So, for 1 decade, if the down is 20 dB, then it is 20 dB per decade. If it was 10 dB, like if it had come here, then it would have been minus 10 dB per decade. And if it goes here, then it would have been minus 30 dB per decade. So, uh, let's have a summary or let's have a brief idea how do we plot. So if there is a constant, we take log of the constant and whatever is the value, we plot it like a straight line. And this is the magnitude plot. But phase, since it is a constant, the phase angle is 0, so we plot with a straight line uh, showing 0 degree as the phase angle. Uh, if we have a mm, 0, uh, j omega at the uh, or the j omega at the numerator and depending on the power if the power is 1 it the slope it will start from 1 and for 10 dB it will go to uh, for sorry for a um, decade or 10 times the frequency it will go 20 dBs up. 20 dBs will be the slope. And this is if n is 1. 
if n is 2 then it is 20 times 2 that means 40 so the slope will be 40 dB for uh, one decade it will go up to 40 dB and in this case the angle will be 90 90 n so when n is 1 the angle will be 90 when n is 2 the angle will be 180 and one more thing that for 0 the slope is positive it goes up and just reverse of this in case of a pole if it is in the uh, denominator then the slope will be down and it will be minus 20 db per decade or if n is 2 that is there is n square here then it will be 40 degree if there is a cube here then it will be 60 degree down and same the angle will be now negative negative 90 n degrees and if was if it was not at origin if it is of this form 1 plus j omega j then uh, this the it will be 0 up to the what is called corner frequency uh, at, the, at the corner frequency or a, a breakout frequency at breakout breakout frequency it will now make a slope of same formula 20 db per decade or if it is uh, square here then it will be 40 db per decade and the angle this is important to remember the angle will start from one tenth of the corner frequency so if the corner frequency is let's say uh, 20 then one tenth of that will be 2 so it will start from one tenth of the corner frequency uh, 0 degree and it will reach 90 degree at 10 times the corner frequency and same for the pole it will just be the negative slope or negative angle so with this knowledge now let's solve um, some problems so there are some concepts that we have to keep in mind we have to rewrite the transfer function in the proper form then we have to separate the transfer function to its parts then we draw the board diagram and then we draw the overall diagram Okay, now let's solve an example by using these four steps. Now, uh, we have to draw the board diagram for the transfer function given here. 100 divided by S plus 30. If you recall, S is actually J omega. So, uh, it is written both ways. Either we can write J omega or we can write, uh, write simple form that is S. Now, the first step is we have to rewrite the transfer function in a proper form. Now, proper form means it is 1 plus j omega by something or 1 plus s divided by something. So, here if we divide s by 30, it will be s divided by 30 and this will be 1. So, we have to actually bring 1 uh, plus something. So, this is how it could be done. We separate the constant terms 10 and also we divide uh, this term by 30. So, it is s over 30 plus 1 and multiply by 30 to balance it. So, our constant term from here it will be 3.3 .3 and 1 divided by 1 plus s 30. So, now this becomes uh, in the form suggested the proper form. Then we have to separate the transfer function into its constituent parts. parts. So, uh, these are the two parts. One is this and the other is this part or this part actually. <coughs> So, the transfer function has two components, a constant at 
and a pole at s is equal to 30. So you can see from here that since this is in the denominator, if you put this equals to 0, uh, s will be equal to minus 30 or for plot we just write 30. So first of all we establish the reference line or we draw the reference line at 0 dB and then we plot for the constant 3.3 .3. so 3.3 .3 when uh, we take log of it uh, it will become 10 dB so we plot it as um, 10 dB here line that is also since it is constant it is a straight line and then we plot for the um, pole so if we take or equate this equals to 0 that means s becomes 30 so that is the break uh, corner frequency or break off frequency so in this line we have to now identify where is 30 it should be here this is 10 s to the power 1 is 10 this is 20 this is 30 so at 30 before 30 the magnitude is 0 but at 30 it will now break down or slope towards uh, the negative side so it will slope down and since this has 1 power 1 so it will slope down by 20 dBs per decade so let's see if this is 30 here and another 10 times is here so up to this point it will come down by 20 dB. So the slope here you can see it is 20 dB uh, per decade. Uh, this is how we draw. So if it was the uh, logarithmic graph it will be so easy to uh, draw it. So we have drawn uh, for the both components the constant and also for the pole part. Now we will add the effect of the two so if we add the effect of the two up to this point it will be simply uh, 10 dB 0 plus 10, 0 plus 10, 0 plus 10, 0 plus 10. but after uh, this point now it is sloping down negative so it will also slope down by the same uh, slope so it's just a simple addition actually uh, that is 10 minus let's say 5 here so this will come to a point called 5 and then gradually so it's a simple addition so we find uh, the final graph now this graph is called asymptotic graph so we are actually just taking the uh, straight lines but actual graph is not uh, like this so we have to then draw an actual approximation graph so we approximate it or uh, cut the corners so we make the corner round so this is the final magnitude graph that we will get for this um, transfer function so this was for the um, magnitude part Now we come to the phase plot for the constant uh, there is no phase so phase angle is 0 so we draw a straight line uh, now this scale is not dB it is in angles so 0 uh, for plus 45 degree minus 45 minus 90 etc and keeping this in uh, mind uh, our corner frequency was 30 so we go 10 times down so it is 1 tenth of 30 is 3 so up to 3 the angle will remain 0 but from 3 it will start sliding down uh, towards 90 and it will go up to 10 times the corner frequency that is up to 300 uh, radians per second so the, uh, from 3 to 300 it will reach to z from 0 to minus 90 and then after that it will straighten up so again uh, we uh, round off the corner so our phase plot will now 
look something like this. So this way quickly you can get an idea about the behavior of the circuit, its frequency response and phase response. Let's do another example. Now in this example uh, you can see we have a we have a constant here, we have a zero and we have two poles. So following the same technique we just uh, bring it into the standard form. So 1 plus something, so this is already 1 plus uh, S over 1 we can write. Here we divide by 10, so it will be uh, S over 10 plus 1 and here we divided by 100 to make 1 here, so uh, 1 plus S over uh, 100. And since we are dividing by 10 here and 100 here, this 100 will become 0 0.01. That is 100 divided by 10 divided by 100 will make 0 0.01. So now we have uh, four factors, the constant, the 0, the pole and another pole. Okay, so now that we have written it in standard form, let's identify what all we need to do. We have to take care of this constant. So we'll take uh, 20 log of the constant and whatever is the value, we'll plot that uh, with the blue line. We have a pole here. So if we equate this equal to 0, that means S is equal to minus 10. So at S is equal to uh, minus 10 or we just write 10 is the corner frequency for this pole. So there will be a slope down at this frequency and since the power is 1, therefore the slope is 20 dB or minus 20 dB down. The uh, second pole is at, if we equate this, equal to 0, that means S is equal to 100 or minus 100. So the corner frequency for this one is at 100. And we'll represent this with the magenta line. And now we're coming on to the uh, numerator, which is 0, represents 0. So if this is equal to 0, that means S is equal to minus 1 or 1. So now because it is 0, its slope will go up and we represent this by uh, red line. Okay, so uh, as we did in the previous case, we draw the reference line and then we plot the constant 0 0.1. So 0 0.1, if you take log of 0 0.1, it will be minus 20 dB. So we draw a straight line for minus 20 dB and then uh, if we take this one, S is equal to 10, there is a pole, so at S is equal to 10, we, we draw a straight line up to S is equal to 10, the corner frequency and then we slope down 20 dB uh, per decade, so you can see from here that from 0 to uh, 20 dB we have gone for one decade and we extend this line all the way. Then we have another pole at uh, S is equal to 100 or 10 raised to the power 2. So at 2 uh, this pole will come up to uh, 100 or 10 raised to the power 2 as a straight line and then it will also slope down by minus 20 dB per a decade and then the last one we have a 0 at s is equal to 1 so s is equal to 1 means 10 raised to the power 0 so up to this point the magnitude will be 0 and since it is a 0 it will go up uh, or positive slope and again it is also since the power is 1 uh, it will be 20 dB per decade up so from here to here one decade and it has gone 20 dBs. So this is how we have plotted the four components uh, of this transfer function and now we'll add them to make the final uh, diagram.
so this is the uh, this was the mm, all three components now let's start adding so 0 and uh, minus 20 will be minus 20 so the final diagram will start from minus 20 so up to this point it will remain minus 20 and then you can see uh, that this is minus 20 but this is going up plus 20 so the summation of the two will make a slope which is going up so this is a slope uh, which is going up 20 dBs per decade. Now at this point what is happening that a 20 dB slope is going up and a 20 dB slope is going down so the both will cancel and therefore we will get a straight line up to this point. So we are getting a straight line up to this point. Now if you look at this point what all are present this is going up 20 dB this is going down 20 dB so they cancel but there is another one which is going down 20 dB so the net result will be going down 20 dB so this is the final magnitude plot and as we did in the previous case we uh, round off the corners to get the final shape so the final graph by rounding off the corner will look like this. So this was the magnitude plot and now we will uh, let's come to phase plot we have to keep this diagram in mind uh, for zero it will go up and for pole it will go down so again we take the uh, reference line for, for the constant since the phase angle is zero so this line is representing the constant and then we come to the zero uh, again keep in mind that the corner frequency for zero is one ten raised to the power zero is one so one tenth of this will be the start point of the phase and ten times that will be the end point of the phase slope so it is starting from uh, point one and it will go up to ten and from zero to ninety degrees so this is for uh, this one zero plot and then we come to the um, other pole that is at 10 so this is the corner frequency so one tenth is the start point and 10 times of that will be the end point again it is going now towards the negative since it is pole so it is 0 to minus 90 degree and now coming on to the last one so for this again the the uh, corner frequency is 100 10 raised to the power 2 so we start from one tenth of that and we go up to 10 times of that and uh, same slope from 0 to minus 90 degree and now we'll add the 3 to get the combined effect so as we did in case of our amplitude we'll also add up to here it is zero then it is going positive slope now here positive and negative slope gets cancelled so it will be a straight line and here uh, since this has become a straight line so now we have a 20 db um, uh, sorry uh, minus 90 slope and minus 90 slope so the adding the two the slope will now be a minus 180 slope so for one decade the slope is now uh, 180 or more slopey than the first ones and rounding off we get the phase plot uh, for this transfer function okay let's do another example this one just to highlight uh, the effect of the square at the pole Uh, just as we did in the previous case, we'll write this in the standard form. So if you take common from the numerator, it will become 10 times 1 plus j omega over 10. And if you take common 25 from this, then it will become j omega 25, 1 plus j omega by 5 uh, whole square. And uh, 
10 divided by 25 will be 0.4. So this is the uh, final shape of, of our transfer function in the standard form. And now you can see that there are four elements, one a constant and then a zero, then a, a pole at the zero and a pole at uh, five. So if you take the uh, uh, log of the constant, it is minus 8 dB. Break in frequency for 0, this one is equal to 0. So omega will be 10 radians. Now uh, also you notice that in this we are not using S, we are using J omega. So either way it can be done since I have taken this from uh, two different books. So uh, this is a different way of writing j omega. So from here omega is uh, 10 radians or the corner frequency or break frequency is 10 radians uh, for the zero and for the pole uh, one of the break frequency is, is at 5 radians and there is another break frequency at zero actually or one j omega 0 will start from 1. So first of all uh, we plot the constant at minus 8 dB and then uh, we plot the pole at 1 radian that is j omega only its corner frequency is 1 so and the slope is 20 dB down so minus 20 dB so this is the slope uh, for the pole, then another for the second pole. Now you can see the effect here that since this pole is power 2, so the um, will now multiply by 20 into 2 that is 40 log. So this will be 40 log, so slope will now be instead of 20 dB down, it will be 40 dB down. So from 5 to 50, 10 times, one decade, this has come down from 0 to 40. So if you see the 40 line, so this slope is 40 dB down. So this you have to keep in mind. And next we plot uh, for 0, uh, it is at um, 10 dB. Uh, sorry, at uh, frequency 10 radians per second and its slope is going positive at uh, 20 log or with the 20 dB per decade slope. So we have plotted all four. So this is the uh, final result. <coughs> By adding all the four components, uh, you can get the final um, magnitude plot and in the similar way uh, we can get the final phase plot by drawing the phase angles. I have not gone into the details. I am sure by now you have learned so much that you can do it yourself. <coughs> now this board plot uh, was very useful when there was no computer uh, and now that we have the computer software and the MATLAB will draw it just by writing two or three steps the whole thing so you uh, when you get familiar with the MATLAB you will know uh, how easy it is to plot the um, magnitude and phase plot of a transfer function thank you <coughs>